I remember when I first started learning C++ and now she's been doing API to use. Well, uh, long story short, I decided to use the operating system proprietary APIs like Win32 or X11. However, over the years, graphics APIs and windowing APIs evolved, and uh, more and more of them started to show up. And I didn't even realize this was a problem in the programming community until a user in my YouTube community actually asked of what windowing API he should use. But before we get into the video, if you're a game developer or an application developer, please consider con jo joining my Discord server and showcase or ask questions about your latest project, even if what you're working on is still in your early stages of development. Now let's get right into the video. Just no, just don't use API. It, it really contains some outdated code and is really buggy sometimes from my own experiences. There is an alternative known as FreeGlut, but I still recommend using the other APIs presented in this video. SDL is uh, pretty cool and uh, it has a large user base, so if you get into trouble while using it, you have a massive community to assist you. However, from my own experiences, I've noticed that if you're using a graphics API alongside SDL, and if you're using Vulkan, uh, I've noticed that it simply meshes better with OpenGL, and it also lacks networking support, unlike um, SFML, and it's kind of hard to make a complex game or application entirely in SDL, but that's usually okay, as people tend to use separate APIs alongside SDL for those things anyway. Anyway, that's about it for this API. In my opinion, SFML is pretty underrated. It's, it's an amazing API, but the low amount of users compared to the other APIs presented here makes it kind of hard to troubleshoot if you run into trouble. It, it also has like a plethora of features that are categorized as network, system, and audio. But other than that, SFML is a great API and is actually the only API in this list that uses object-oriented code and works perfectly with modern C++. This API is probably the most popular API on the entire list. This is what I use personally every single day. However, it only gives you the basic window handling and input handling features. It's a great API, but if you like to use a separate APIs for everything you do, and it gives you more gives you more choice on how you implement features like networking, audio, and graphics. But the majority of people that use a graphics API use GLFW because you don't have to carry around some of the additional 2D stuff included with the other APIs. And that is it for this video. If you made it this far, please consider joining my Discord server and maybe even subscribing to my channel. And uh, anyway, I hope this video helped you out with your project and uh, thank you.